Hello, and welcome to your daily tarot card reading with Lyman Holton. Here we are on a magnificent Wednesday, right smack dab in the middle of the week. I think Wednesdays are just right. And we have the good old tarot cards ready. Got the good old Lenormand cards ready. So, but something I was going to tell you. Really silly. Saturday, my wife and I go to a mall shopping. A mall near, or in the big city we live in, Piantec, South Korea. And it's called Starfield. Well, she goes, she loves a shop. So she went to a shop, bought some clothes with her credit card, and forgot her credit card there. Now, she needs to use her credit card and can't find it. It's not in her wallet. Of course, we were already halfway to where we wanted to go when she realized this. So, turn around, drive back home. She looks through her other wallets and purses. Can't find it. She calls the store because she's thinking, when did I last use my credit card? Aha, Saturday at that clothing shop at Starfield. She calls there. They don't answer the phone. Calls again. They don't answer the phone. But there's a message you could leave. So, she said, please call me back right away. I'm looking for my credit card. So anyways, doesn't get a call and she's working pretty fast so she didn't wait long. She calls a credit card company, cancels the card, finds out, nope, nobody's tried to charge anything on it. So, card's canceled, she hangs up the phone, the phone rings, the lady from the dress shop, I have your card. Yes, right after you left, they announced over the loudspeaker in the mall that somebody has left their credit card and should come and pick it up. Well, she didn't hear that. So anyway, I asked her, I said, well, why wouldn't a normal person just look at the name on the card, call directory assistance, who, what's the phone number of this person, and call you and give you your card? But now this woman thought it was a better idea because my wife had agreed to come back on May 6th. That's like a week and a half, right, later? So, anyways, we had to go to Starfield again, about a 40-minute drive, <laughs> pick up her old card, and she was so mad. I said, don't chew that lady out because, yes, it was stupid that she didn't get in contact with you right away, call you. I said, but on the other hand, you're at fault too. You forgot the card there. She's like, yeah, that's true. So, I said, don't be chewing her out. Be nice to her when you get the card. Well, anyways, she says, meet me in the store when she gets out of the car after we get to the mall. So, I fool around with the car a little bit. I was dusting it off and that. So, about 15 minutes after, I show up in the same little dress shop she went to to get her card. And what do I witness but her buying more clothes? Oh, my goodness. And she was all happy and everything. She got more clothes. And she told me, she says, you go outside and wait, okay? Don't stay in here. So anyway, there you go. Silly stuff. But, you know, when it was all said and done, all we did was spend a little extra gas than we expected to for the day. And it all worked out okay. She's happy. And as you know, happy wife, happy life. Well, enough of that. Here we go. We've got the good old tarot cards sitting here patiently waiting for me to shuffle them, which I'm doing right now. Okay, so cut the cards, bring up the first card. So of course, as you know, we're going to knock out three cards here. The first one is going to be um, about what you need to let go of for Wednesday. The next one is what you need to know. And the third one is upcoming opportunity. So our first card is the Seven of Cups. Now we're focusing on what to let go of in regards to what this card represents, what it tells us. And this card speaks to daydreaming, creativity, choices, visions, fantasy, unrealistic, illusions, it goes with opportunities and wishful thinking. They're suggested by the card, the Seven of Cups. It also warns of seeking uh, short-term things that aren't really worth it. So 
What does this card tell us to let go of? Well, it tells us to let go of the little frivolous things. Don't be searching for pie in the sky. Uh, keep your feet on the ground. Be serious about things. Don't let your imagination overtake what is practical and really needs to be done. Have your hopes, you know, shoot for the good things, but at the same time, don't be stupid. All right, let's move on. See what we have for our next card. Okay. So we're shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. All right. And the second card for what we need to know is the Page of Swords. Here we begin to think about a messenger. Unwelcome news, legal documents, gossip and confidence. The page resembles someone who's full of energy and ideas and eager to share. This card suggests a new form of communication. So what do we need to know? Well, what we need to know is that we must be open to communication. We need to be open to perhaps a new form of communication. So let's be vigilant for that today. Pay attention to what's going on. Communication. Communication is huge, okay? So something good to you, news and whatever, can come to you through communication, of course. Communicate. Keep the lines open. All right, now let's move on to the next card, which is going to be upcoming opportunities. Okay, shuffled, cut, and the Knight of Wands. Here we think about transition, a thrill seeker, hothead, impulsive, project starter, and travel. Okay, this card symbolizes adventure and enthusiasm. It encourages one to energetically go for it. As far as upcoming opportunities go, do you have something that's been on the back burner of your mind for a while that you've been thinking about moving forward on? Well, this card indicates that now, I mean, after rational consideration, this is the time that's good for you to seriously consider moving on with that, taking advantage of that opportunity. This is an opportunistic time for you to do something like that, all right? Okay, so there's our three tarot cards. Now, let's take a look at the Lenormand cards. See what's going to happen here. So, shuffling, shuffling. All right. Cut the deck. What do we get? Coffin. By itself, this card can represent an end, sickness, a loss, even death. So it tends uh, to be one that brings ending in sadness. Now, this is the primary card. Let's see what a difference, or hmm, positive or negative, comes from the card that's going to define it. So let's pick out what this card is going to be. After we shuffle the cards, we'll get our, our random defining card. Just like we got our random primary card. Okay, so cut the deck, draw the card, and the moon. By itself, this card can represent creativity, seduction, honor, emotion. Emotion. Okay, now let's see what this card is going to do along with the coffin card. Hmm. We may have a, a dire prediction. Together, these cards speak to shock, an emotional ending. So, there you go. Now, let's put the Lenormand cards with your tarot cards. And be wary of what we learn from the cards. All right? I feel you're going to have a great Tuesday, but hey, 
Keep your head down and your eyes open. All right. See you tomorrow.